In this section of the course, we look at moving to multiple linear regression. This is an extension of the regular least squares model that you've considered in the past videos, except now we use more than one input variable. The need for multiple linear regression is fairly clear. When we deal with engineering systems, we seldom have only one variable influencing our outputs. Two or more inputs are very common. However, let's recognize why we build any least squares model. Typically, there are two reasons. Either we're looking at improving our understanding of the system, or we're looking at making predictions. Here's an example of the first case. We're trying to understand how reaction concentration and temperature affect the reaction rate. Two input variables, concentration and temperature, and one output variable, reaction rate. Our goal here is to interpret these constants B1 and B2. These constants tell us how the concentration and temperature affect the reaction rate. We're not so much interested in the predictions of the reaction rate, after all, we've measured them there in the y value. We're more interested in understanding how concentration and how temperature affect the reaction rate. An example of the second use of regression models is the case when making predictions. Let's imagine we're trying to predict melt index as our output variable. Melt index is affected by both temperature and the flow rate at which the material is moving. We can go build a model to obtain these coefficients, B0, B1, and B2, to make predictions of Y. We're also learning about our system in this case. We can interpret these coefficients, B1 and B2, and better understand how temperature and feed flow rate affect the melt index. But ultimately, we're more interested in the predictions of melt index that we get from this model. The predictions from just using temperature to predict melt index or just using the feed flow rate to predict melt index would be poor. But when we combine both variables, the multiple regression model should give us better predictions overall. We will also see later that multiple linear regression naturally arises when we use integer variables. For example, if we have three mixing tanks, we'll end up with a multiple linear regression model. If we have more than two operators and we want to use that information in our regression model, we will need a multiple linear regression model. Or if we have two or more suppliers, then again, we start to have a multiple linear regression model. Since multiple linear regression is commonly used in engineering and science, we should consider this in some detail in the next few videos. Coming up, we're going to look at the matrix form of the multiple linear regression model. But first, I just want to emphasize the following. Multiple linear regression is no different to regular least squares. The interpretation of the objective function, how we solve it as an optimization problem, and then the interpretation of the model outputs are all mostly the same. There's a few minor differences along the way, and I'll point those out. 